Hello, this video is about dropping a document to the Dropbox to submit it as an assignment. This particular video is for students that are working with Microsoft Word um, on their computer. So if you have Microsoft Word on your computer and that is how you'll be doing your, your composing this semester, um, this is how you will submit your work to the Dropbox. So first you'll probably be in Microsoft Word and you have your piece done and it looks good and you want to go ahead and submit it. First thing you want to do is make sure that you have it saved to a place on your computer that you can remember. So this one's already saved. I can see that because it has the title up here, Destination Tokyo. If it weren't saved already, you could go up here to this button and it would take you through the Save As menu after you actually save it under document title. All this button does is save your changes. So it's good to hit that every now and then as you're composing and when you're finished just to make sure you have the most recent copy that you're submitting. Um, if you haven't already saved it, you might go to Save As. Make sure that you have a title there that you can remember. Um, and then save it to a place on your computer or on your flash drive, just a place that you can remember where it is. You don't want to lose your document. Um, so I have mine just under Documents on the iCloud. You can also save it to the desktop. And what that means is that anytime you pull up your computer, you have that first screen that you see. If you save something to the desktop, it's saved to that screen. So you notice how you have little files there that you can click into. This would make it available to you on that home screen so that you could just click on it as soon as you log on to your computer. Some people, personally, I like, and when I'm working on something, I like to have it on the desktop um, just so that it's easy to access every time I um, need to work on it. So, you have it saved. Let's go to the online classroom and I'll show you um, where to drop it. So this is our home page. You want to go to the Dropbox. And Right now, nothing's open except for this one. So I'll use this Dropbox, but what you'll do is you'll find the Dropbox that you're looking for in this list, and it should be open by the time you're wanting to drop it. Um, it has an open date, and then it has a closing date after the due date. Um, so it should be open whenever you go to um, submit it. So I'll click into the snapshot essay just so that we can see what it looks like. All right, so what you'll notice after you go into the Dropbox is a couple of instructions. Make sure that you read through those and that you are doing whatever is being asked of you. Um, and then you can go down to Submit Files. Now, there are a couple ways to do this. So let's click Add a File. Now, the one we have is on our computer. And you can either drop them or click below. If you had it saved on your desktop, you could um, minimize this window. I'm sorry, it was already minimized. Minimize this window and grab it off your uh, computer and drop it into the Dropbox. But mine isn't currently on the desktop. So I'm gonna click Upload. Now this gives us access to um, all of our files, mine's in the iCloud documents, and there's my document right there. So I will find it, and then I will double, double click it, and it will automatically download. Now notice it's in the correct format because I composed this in Microsoft Word. It is already in the .docx format, which is the format that we're looking for. It needs to be .docx, .doc, or a PDF. Um, but for us, if we need to just be um, using Microsoft Word and having it in docx. So I'm going to click add and there it is right there. You can add comments. There's usually no need to add comments um, but some students find that they have something or other they want to say about it. Um, and then just click submit. Don't forget to click submit because it won't actually submit unless you do that. And there you see your file and it's the correct file there again and a confirmation email will be sent. So there, Dropbox submission receipt. I already have my email that says that I have submitted something to the Dropbox. Now you wanna hang on to this email just to make, um, to make sure that it actually dropped um, sometimes, who knows, computers. Um, and you wanna have that proof in hand that you actually dropped the um, document to the Dropbox. And then click done and you are finished. 